yesterday, no matter what you feel about him or think of him, we're just excited because he makes it more entertaining. He does. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, is this entertainment or is, or is this supposed to be governing? <laughs> well, <laughs> what are you looking for with your candidate? Well, That's being the in the media, entertainment. As I say, yeah, being, yeah, yeah. being in our we position. Got time. we got four hours to fill here. <laughs> okay, well, I So I, how do you I start with a man that has so much to give? Well, you start with the most, uh, with, with the feature that stands out the most. And for me, that's that extremely unique hairstyle. I will say it looks has. more real when you see him in person. Really? Yeah. Well, yeah, except there's, there, you know, he, what he does is he weaves it uh, in a way that... That, uh, that looks like the Southeast Polk football helmet there. Uh, for, well, yeah, yeah because that's, a, that's, one of his, uh, that's one of the weave parts. It, oh, it is real. Uh, it's, it is it's, real. It's, it's, it generally looks like a comb over, though you have to admit. So... I wish somebody could capture video of him doing his hair in the morning just to see what well, I'm pretty what sure goes he on. doesn't do his hair. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that he, he does his own hair. However, um, there are some pictures, uh, you can Google it, uh, that show what happens when the wind catches his oh, hair. Yes, oh, yes, I've seen yeah. those, and yes. they are fantastic. Oh, they are. Like so, David Spade. Exactly. So I always, I, you know, I, I always start out with. Looks like one of those hair bales, those, those round yeah. bales. Kind of, yeah. yeah. Very island. Or a ho-ho. <laughs> <laughs> he seems to love days. Iowa, though. He's excited to keep coming back and... See, now I can see it, the curve of the face. To tell everybody... Uh, he's got all of my chance. What he's going to do. Well, yeah, it's... Uh, and how wealthy he is. That's the thing. The other problem, though, is that when he initially had mentioned that he was uh, interested in running for the presidency, this was back uh, in 1999, um, everybody thought, well, is he really interested in it? Uh, he's, a, he's a germaphobe, so I don't know how that's oh, really. really? Is he oh, really? Oh, oh gosh, yes. Now, I didn't now, know what either. stood out about his eyes? Um, I like the bags. Huh. A little bit of the bags under the eyes, but like uh, there's a couple of things that unfortunately I can't show because this one's in black and white. I'm going to start bringing color markers, there you too, because the orange would have really stood out. His eyebrows. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's huge. Yeah, in fact, they, they actually come up and they meet the hairline. Really? Oh, they oh, do? Yes. Like oh, yeah. Andy Rooney-ish? Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, except, you know, as a cartoonist, I can make them go higher. Right. <laughs> you can make them touch. I can right. make them the touch. The privilege of being a cartoonist. Yes. And not a, not a very big nose that he has. Yeah, he kind of cried wolf so many times, people didn't know if he was, right. we could take him too seriously. Yeah, and the stunning thing is this time, they're going to have to take him seriously. Now, in the debates, it's going to be interesting because, as he says, he really doesn't have anything to lose in those. So God knows what he's going to bring up. God knows what he's going to say. And he's, you know, he's always, he's always hypercritical of... Well, there's going to be 10 people on the stage at these things. Well, well he has to get now. enough percentage 12, yeah. points to get on that stage, first I think he'll all. be able to. I he think will? He, I think he will. Yeah. I think he'll get the top 10, yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. I think he'll, yeah, I definitely think that he'll also get to the top 10. I'll throw my straw in his it, little tin it, just to see him debate. Well, that's true. Yeah. I, it's, I'll watch the debate if mm -hmm. he's going to be there mm -hmm. just because... That's just you, the reason. You don't know what's going to come out of his right. mouth. I right. love the lips. And he doesn't have to worry about it. So that's that's the that's going to be the interesting aspect. Almost of this. looks like uh, Paul Stanley from Kiss Lips. <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> offense, Almost. but he kind of looks a little drag queenish. <laughs> I don't know. Do you and expect I mean him to be on the show? <laughs> and you mean that, I mean that in the good way. Seriously, no. <laughs> <laughs> He's the invited. Yes. Yes. Will he, he has come? guts. He'll show up, but I, I don't think he does. Well, and that's the other thing is that. You know, he's a brash person to begin with. You know, he goes, uh, I'll tell you, I'm rich. I'm really rich. So he gets up there and he, and, and he says things like that. Now, let's see how well that goes with Iowans who, you know, they're, they're a little, you know, braggarts are not big, uh, big in Iowa. No. So that's going to be a difficult thing. You know, a New Yorker um, and people that are used to New Yorkers can understand that stuff. Mm -hmm. That's why with Chris Christie, I mean, I love the guy. I, he, just, he just kills me. But I grew up if he said so. partially in uh, in New York and Connecticut, so I know oh, these guys. Okay. So, but yeah, and then you had to deal with the other politicians in Chicago too. So you, oh yeah, you know so all you, of that. you've got all of the uh, 